So we're gonna make pizzas and answer your questions. How do you deal with jealousy in your relationship? So 180 grams of flour, it's 90 per pizza. How is it living together after not living together? Such a lie. <laughs> that is not a lie. He's a pizza chef today. It it's won't. got to be the farting. Should you make the, both doughs in here at one time and split it in two? Kieran literally doesn't shut up. I don't think I need to be married to somebody. <laughs> He just literally thinks that I have to be happy like 24-7. I've never had a relationship like it in my life. How long did you wait to have sex? Looking good, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We have a special guest. It's Say cute. hi. Hi guys. How are we doing? So today, I thought we'd do something a little bit different. I was kind of fancying pizzas, homemade pizzas, and I bought the ingredients ages ago. So I thought, what a better way than to make pizzas and do a couples slash boyfriend Q&A. Are we doing Q&A as well? Yeah, so we're gonna make pizzas and answer your questions, which you guys asked me over on my Instagram story. So are you ready? I've had no, what's the word? Preparation. Preparation for this. So the pizzas we're gonna be making is actually a low-cal pizza, which I have been obsessed with ever since it kind of came about. It's a massive thing on TikTok and I've made the recipe before on my Instagram, but I thought we would recreate and we're actually doing this kind of like the same pizzas that we had at Ula. Have you done this before, this recipe? Or are we just winging it? I've done this recipe before, oh, yeah. Right. Fine, Guys, I've literally told him what flavor pizza we're having. No, all day I, and he I've just chosen, never I've chosen barbecue. Are we, do, are we doing, not doing them different? No. Oh, we're doing the same. Let's get going. We'll answer a couple questions, then we'll get into the actual pizza making. So I haven't actually read any of these. So yeah, it's the first time for both of us. Number one, ready? How do you deal with jealousy in your relationship? We don't get jealous. Yeah, to be fair. We don't get jealous. We're not jealous people. If Kieran wants to go after someone else, he can go after someone I'm else. I'm 30 years of age. <laughs> I'm not worrying what she's doing nowadays, and she's the same. If, yeah. At the end of the day, I don't shit if someone cheats on you, but if, if it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. We're not saying about cheating. We're not it's cheating, but like, <laughs> oh, I don't know. Ingredients, we'll pick this oh. back up. So when you're in Dubai, you can order ingredients straight to your door, which is just great because I actually didn't have any buffalo mozzarella or barbecue sauce. So that has finally arrived. Oh, and it's in like a special bag. No, let me pick that back up. So what I'm trying to say. Oh my God, Kieran. Oh, yes. <laughs> They're frozen. Frozen. Finally found bagels in Dubai. They are the blueberry New York style omelet. This reminds pounds. me of that's actual New York. So what I was trying to say before the door went was in any relationship, I know it's a lot harder when you're younger. The older you get, you start to realize if you're not meant to be, not meant to be, I think. Obviously you gotta make things work. I'm Where really good. <laughs> I'm it explaining it really it badly. It really but what I'm trying to say is I don't get jealous of Ellie and she doesn't get jealous of me because I just think it's if, a waste of energy, right? Yeah, For and one. I just I just think that like, if he didn't want to be with me and he wants to be with someone else, you, then go and do it. Yeah, and you can go and do the same. I know it sounds harsh, but if you think you'll be better off with somebody else, then you're, I would want you to go and do yeah. that. Yeah, 100%. Like, life's too but, short to be, like, not in the relationship that you want to be in, really. And also, like, no one wants to be in a controlling relationship with someone who's jealous all the time. It's just It's not, just gonna end, isn't it? It's not enjoyable at, at all. So, yeah, we don't get jealous. We just, we lay all of our cards on the table. I think it's why we get on. Yeah. We, we both get each other really well. Okay, right, one more question. How is it living together after not living together? Pretty much the same, isn't it? Yeah. It's obviously a little bit different because we're in this, we're in this apartment <laughs> which we don't... <laughs> I mean, she just did have a go at me for not clearing up, but I'm such a clean person in my own home. And then here I had things to do. I'm going to film some behind the scenes of her because she <laughs> uses every utensil in the whole house and then decides to like leave it laying around. But anyway. We haven't argued once. We don't argue. We just don't argue. No, but yeah, it's been fine. It's like What's normal. We obviously live together over lockdown. So it's just the same really, but not really. If anything, it's probably brought us back closer again. 100%. I, we're, 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 we're spending more time together for one. Yeah, because we're quite selfish people. So when we spend time by ourselves, we actually really get into that kind of rhythm. Like we like being by ourselves. So we have a lot to it's, do. It's good to like know? be back together. But being here, we're just doing normal day life. Like we're not living in Dubai, are we? We are, but we're not like living Dubai life. <laughs> no, we are. We've been here four weeks. You've been to one pool party. No, I haven't. I've been to three. Have you? Yeah. You haven't. Even he hasn't been to anything. But no, yeah. but like, do you know what I mean? We're not like we're, we're working from seven a.m. till nine a.m. Uh, nine p.m. We're working. Yeah. The only time we actually we're really so get to out. like go out is really Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and that's kind of like at a push because we still kind of work a little bit. The days here feel really short. 
Yeah. I just, you know, it's the sunset black, super six, early. Yeah. So we're going to get into pizzas. making the pizza. So the dough is made out of flour and yogurt. Kim is going to be top measurer because he's actually an ex chef, if you didn't know. He's a pizza chef today. I'm a pizza chef today. So we're using this big old bowl because obviously we're in a rental property and we don't have any of our own stuff, which, guys, is really, really, really difficult. So yeah, this is the bowl it we've got today. Hard. I feel like this is this is a bowl that like your mum puts on the table with the fruit. So that's, that's going to be our cereal bowl. Our pizza dough. Bowl. Should you make the, both doughs in here at one time and split it in two? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 180 grams of flour, it's 90 per pizza. Do you have to use my hands? 180, whoa, stop. Oh, You've well, gone 200. That's fine, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, and then we're gonna add in 220 grams of yogurt. So always slightly more yogurt than there is flour, basically. And you can always add in a little bit more yogurt if it's not moist enough. I hate that word. Okay, and then we're just gonna lead Kieran to mix that whilst we answer the next question question three things you don't like about each other and three things that you love about each other so my three things oh, that i don't like about you okay when he drives the car he just always prats around like he's like going like this at the steering wheel like not paying attention and i'm like kieran we're gonna have an accident no guys i'm not don't it's not dangerous driving though is it it's irritating yeah but i'm not like causing accidents i do it like when it's like in the car no but he's like going like that at the steering wheel to like try and annoy me it's I like it when I break sharply. Oh, yeah, and he'll break in. really sharply, and it's just awful. The second thing is he takes longer to get ready than me. Ellie, come on, that is <laughs> such a lie. That is not a lie. It's not a lie whatsoever. The other day he asked me if he could wear foundation. Just wanted a little bit on there, you know what I'm saying? Like, because my face <laughs> is looking a bit. Like, watchy. I don't think that's normal. And then the third thing has got to be the farting. It's horrific. It's bulking season, darling. <laughs> it's awful. You know how everyone wants a gym boyfriend who's in great shape? Guys, their butts do not smell nice. That's true. I can't <laughs> deny that one. <laughs> and then three things that I like about you. Um, I like that you're easygoing. Let's elaborate on that one. Kieran doesn't really ask me. Well, he does. Like He, he does care about what I do, but... He doesn't like, say if I was out on a girls night, he wouldn't message me, which I like, because if someone was messaging me, I'd be like... <laughs> Is that what you call easy going? Yeah, I'd be like, hun, I'm out with my girls. But that just goes back to the whole, I'm not jealous. And then... Like, I'm not, I'm not, it's not, I don't give a shit. I do care about you and your well-being and your health <laughs> and everything else. Do you know what I mean? Like, when you're on a night out or on holiday, you don't need me. Mess I do, I do no. things to you that I wouldn't want you to do to me. When I'm with my girlfriends, I like to be with my girlfriends. I don't like to be messaging with my boyfriend. Um, yeah, I'd find it weird if you went out with your girlfriends and started messaging me 24-7. What are you doing? Yeah, I know. I'd be like, be, you're not You've got to be fun. present. Whatever you do in life, be present in the moment. The second thing is that he's always happy. Sometimes too happy. He's never, ever, ever, apart from actually when he was in, on prayer, He's never ever in a bad mood. When someone says you're never happy, to be fair, obviously there are times in life when you do get a bit down. There's not much that puts me in a bad mood, is there? No, not really. Like even if something's really shit, like we'll just I'll just find a joke out of it. The last one is like, gonna be how much he loves my dog Arthur. Why? Yeah, but I mean, I find it weird if people don't like dogs. Yeah, when people are cat people, sorry guys, I'm just not a cat person. If you're into cats and crystals, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. Oh, do you know what? I had cats growing up. I think that might be why. That's All of my cats would never, ever, ever sit on my lap. They'd always just literally be happier when you're not in the house. Mm. But dogs cannot wait for you to be home. So yeah, that's my three. Don't make it too moy. Oh, it's quite sticky. No, you you have to put some more flour in there. No, I think you just You've need flour in sticky. My hands. Step two is flour your table. Oh, is anyone on any chicken stock? We've got quite a few. I'm not that great at online ordering here. <laughs> I do not read before I order, and I ordered 100 chicken stock. <laughs> <laughs> that would last you a year. You know, 100 of them. Hate's a strong word. Yeah, hate's a strong word. I'd say dislike. Number one, the first thing has to be. I think this is just most women, not just Ellie, but like, I can't get too sexy. Oh, no. You, especially, have four different personalities. And I see them throughout a whole one day. I don't have to worry about it because it's not- Kieran, it's, women have hormones. No, I get we it, I get periods. it, I get it, I get it. But we're you're asking be, me a we're question. We're not gonna have the same personality when we're on our periods or when we're coming on our period. <laughs> and I compared to like when we- I'm probably the worst person to be around. Yeah, you? like he just literally thinks period. that I have to be happy like 24 seven. I'm like, Kieran, it just doesn't happen. No, but do you want anything that well, annoys me? I get that. That doesn't annoy me that you have those personalities. It annoys me that like it can just switch. And I'm like, we was well, having yeah, fun something then. Something could happen. We was having fun then and now all of a sudden you just put a damp on the day, but then we get over it really quickly. Second thing I hate about Ellie or dislike about Ellie is that she 
Oh my god, I just thought. What? <laughs> a rolling pin. Yeah, it's fine. We can just put it out with fingers. That's what they're doing in well, Italian. No, it's not a proper sourdough pizza though. We might have to use this. Yeah, we can use anything. So the second thing that I dislike about Ellie is that her hair gets <laughs> absolutely everywhere. Yet she'll moan about something that's on the floor and yet her hair's allowed to be on the floor. It's definitely extensions and actually being in Dubai as well. Like I feel like my hair's coming out more, but we have got a filter on the shower, so it's not that. When you have extensions, I don't know if any of you do, but my hair definitely falls out so much. Now the third thing, we'll be sitting there watching TV. I need to go, I need to go to bed, I need to go to bed, I need to get some sleep. Get us into bed. <laughs> Instagram for an hour. Get off your phone. <laughs> Guys, don't do that, it's really bad. You just stopped watching the series that we were really enjoying because you wanted to go and get some sleep and now all of a sudden we're scrolling. Do you know yeah, what I mean? To be fair, that is, I do it sometimes. That was one of my New Year's resolutions that I didn't go on my phone after eight o'clock and I 100% have not stuck to that one night. And I don't know why we're doing it here because like, uh, guys, you, when I'm home. Eight. Look how good that base is. Back in London, I'm up at half five every day. And one of the biggest reasons why we moved here was that we wanted to just wake up to sun you know we wanted to have that enjoyment really i guess because i love the mornings and i did yeah. that on the first day i was up at quarter to six half five quarter to six the best day i've had here <laughs> ever since then <laughs> when we moved here he was happening. like he was like i'm getting up at five o'clock every day and we had an argument about it and i was like you're not getting up at five o'clock every day kieran because you're gonna wake me up well that's the thing and it, he hasn't got up once that time that's the so. thing though like i think you have to make sacrifices in relationships and i i get it that you're not going to want to get up at five thirty. i get up at when, six but I'm that's not, enough to be I'm fair not getting up to get up, especially when we're four hours ahead, it's yeah. do you know what I mean? It's two o'clock in the morning back at home. Yeah, right, right. So I've made a stuff. Well, I haven't actually stuffed it, but I've made a little crust because I like crusts. I feel like some people don't like crust, but I'm a crust person. You make? I won't make. Are a you stuff. a crust person? Yeah, well, I am. We're good. Okay, okay we'll answer one more question. Now I've got to do the likes now. Oh, you're so good. Okay, first thing that I like about Eleanor is her drive in life to do well. That's the biggest thing for me. I generally couldn't be with someone who just sits back, relaxes, and just sort of gets on with it. Like each to their own. That's absolutely fine if, you, if that's all you see yourself being in life or whatever. But for me personally, I like to be with someone who's driven and, and wants to do well because I am that type of person and that makes me want to do even better. So yeah. that's the biggest thing for me. Okay, I like that one. The second thing is just how easy you are to get along with. Yeah. It's just so easy, guys. I've never had a relationship like it in my life. You know, it's just, it's so easy to just get on. And it's because I'm just I think... not, I, do you know what? When, in school, I was never friends with girls. I was always friends with boys. And I always have been more friends with boys than girls. And I think it's just because I honestly have no time for like drama or bitchiness. I just don't, I don't see the point. If someone tries to argue with me, I'll literally be like, okay. It's just long. Because they just don't understand. I just don't get, I don't get argument. I think from day dot, me and Ellie met, we laid laws down. Not really, like. We, we were like, we're tell. never getting into a relationship. Well, that's what we, we, we did say that. But what I mean is like, I think straight from the off, we knew what we were about. You yeah. knew what I do. You knew what I, I knew what you do. We knew what it was going to be like. And that, you know, it just, it just works. So that's the biggest thing, like getting on. Yeah. Like, if we argued, even twice, three times a month, like proper argument, I'd be, I wouldn't be able to do it. No, let's see the third one. I don't know the third one. You don't have a third thing you like about me? Well, there's quite a few things I like about well, you, we'll so I need to one. choose one. Yeah, choose one. I don't know, let's come back to it. I thought you were gonna go my tits. <laughs> well, I don't know. Yeah, third one, quick. No, let's come back to it. No, you quick. I don't know it right now. You don't, how do you not know because it? Because I wanted to make it a good one for the video. If you have baking paper, make sure you put that at the bottom so we can stick it in. We're using. We're just gonna use some oil. Have but you told I mean, them about this? Yeah, I used to throw that in my last video. This is just some spray oil. Whoa. Try make it into a oblong. Oh, God. I don't want to make it too thin though. Why does mine have to be sacrificed? It was the pan's not big enough. Maybe you'll pull yours up a little. It's gonna be a weird shape this one, but we can't. <laughs> we're having to we're having to You rolled it too thin. Right, so we've got our pizza bases. Now it's time for the toppings. What are you gonna go for? What is your chosen pizza? Barbecue. Yeah. Red onion. Yeah. Sweet corn. Yeah. Chicken and cheese. Are you a bit of buffalo mozzarella? Yes. Because I'm going to do the exact same. <laughs> no, you're not, are you? Yeah. What's that then? Yeah, I decided I want to have some barbecue. See do you think I mean? buffalo mozzarella and barbecue go together? Absolutely. Okay. Right, so the barbecue sauce that we're using is just this you honey, can you can honey barbecue. How much was that? Don't say 20 quid. It was quite expensive. So we're going with a barbecue base, but I did also buy this pizza sauce. To be honest, you could use any kind of passata, pizza sauce, whatever. We're going to go with barbecue today. Uh, this is mine. 
And you're just gonna spread it out. All right, next question. Who asked who out? Did we even ask each other out? Yeah, you asked me when we were in Spain, in the pool. He said, are you my girlfriend now? <laughs> oh, is that what I said? <laughs> I'm not that type of person to be like... No, to be fair, we already knew we were together because we spent the whole of lockdown together. So that was how it kind of happened. But in terms of like the actual first date, Kieran actually asked me to go to an event at River Island with him. That wasn't really a date, that was just his friends. And then we also went on like a night out to like a, a bar and... What was that bar? We visited that recently. It was like a, it was a bar in Kensington in London and we had dinner and then drinks. We drank six bottles of Prosecco. I was violently ill after, it wasn't a great date. So yeah, girls, if you go on a first date, do not drink six bottles of Prosecco. Okay, next question. Mm, do you guys think you'll get married one day? Big question that, isn't it? Kieran doesn't want to get married. Do you know what it is? I just don't, I think, when you're younger, like, cause all I've, all I've known is my mum and dad to be married from flipping age of like 20, whatever it is, like craziness to get married so young. Nowadays, I just feel like a lot of people, a lot of my friends and a lot of people I know from my school have just, have just got married and then broken up like two years later. And I just yeah. think people do it for the sake of it nowadays and just to be like, oh, look at me, I've got a family, I've got a marriage, I've got a house, then it all comes to shit. Like, I don't think I need to be married to somebody. No, I don't think like there's any rush to be married whatsoever. I'm not saying and we won't. But... No, but like, I don't think there is like any, any rush, like to be honest. The only reason I'd ever want to be married is so that if we had a child, they had the same name as us. Because mm -hmm. I would never want to have a child and it didn't have the same last name as me. If you're gonna get married just for the sake of the certificate, it's just a waste of time. Yeah, you're yeah. getting married because you generally want to get married to that person. In yeah, like my whatever. my parents are divorced and Kieran's are still together, but like I would never get married unless I actually thought that that was gonna be forever. You never know though, do you? There's I know, no certainty but like, in life. No, of course, but I just, I would, if, if there was any doubt question. in my mind, I wouldn't do it, basically. And I'm not, I'm not ready now and I'm 27. You're not getting married And some, some of my friends are getting married and I'm like, whoa. Some people like get married early and that's because like, they're ready. I think everyone's just different and it's completely up to you on like how you feel because everyone's at different stages in their life. Yeah, and I um, think, I think a lot of- Karen, come down and speak. For me, if I saw my mate get married, which a couple of my best mates get married, it doesn't make me want to get married. People then- And you, you're taking really long to answer questions, Kieran. Hurry the fuck up. I don't even know what you're talking about. You just ramble on about shit all the time. Marriage. Don't do it. Okay. Right, <laughs> next one. Would you ever have an open relationship? And that's a man that's asked me that. <laughs> it's not a relationship, if you ask me. Just... Absolutely not. And to be honest, I actually couldn't do it myself. Yeah, I just couldn't sleep with someone else and well, two people at the same time, basically. What are your goals as a couple? I think our goals as a couple, we want to do like, obviously if we stay together, <laughs> we want to do, we want to like buy houses and do the mark that we want that to be like our side kind of hustle and we want to have lots of sausage dogs and just basically do what we do now next year is the year where we're going to try and travel a lot for summer next year i actually don't really want to be in the uk and i think being here in dubai has really made me realize that because i don't know i just i love the sun it's just the best the thing. sun makes yeah you just wake up and you're in a good mood whereas in england if it's raining i'm just in not a great mood yeah, it's not, well, it's not, you're not in a great mood, you just have to sort of, yeah, but it always kind of force yourself, don't you, doesn't to it? be in a good mood. Yeah. Now we're gonna put some toppings on our pizza. We've chopped up the chicken, we've got the red onion, do you want to chop up the red pepper? Looking good, aren't they? You can tell that this one's mine and this one's Kieran's. Well, why can you tell? Because mine's got like a nice rounded shape. Mine did have, and then you made me sacrifice it. Do you know one thing I love? Is eating sweet corn straight out of the tin. Really? <laughs> Look, I've just chopped up the, um, pepper, but I've, I've kept them quite small because you don't want a big bite and then just yeah, get a big pepper. chunk of pep. Same with the chicken, I've chopped it up quite small. Yeah. We actually know. forgot for a moment that we were eating. I was actually thinking about like, what are we have for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> what is that about? Where's the buffalo mozzarella? How long will you see each other before making it official? So, if you didn't know, Kieran and I actually, well, he moved in with me at the beginning of lockdown. Actually, I'd say like two months into lockdown from April till July we lived together and obviously we weren't even together. We obviously got together yeah. and then it was kind of like when Kieran had moved out and back to London we realized that obviously we really liked each other and then we went on holiday. I went to surprise him in Spain. There is actually a video on my channel of me doing that. Oh, and yeah. then it was on that holiday where we basically became official. So yeah, that was literally it I'd say. So April, May, June, July, like 
probably about five months, but we'd known each other since the previous October. So that was November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July. So nine months. Yeah, but we only met each other. I'm pretty sure we'd met each other twice. Okay, we're adding the cheese. I actually bought this. It's called Pizza Mix Grated. Perfect. It's basically a mix of cheddar and mozzarella, which is obviously the two best cheeses. Absolutely. All right, you put it all on yours. No, you, so yeah, we only met each other twice. I'm pretty sure it was just twice. The date, the River Island thing. Yeah, before we, before we even in. moved in. But, and that was, that was kind of when I knew. Yeah, but I feel like when you know, you know. And because we'd been like speaking loads, Kieran literally doesn't shut up. So yeah, we just spoke loads and we kind of just got really close, didn't we? Yeah, sometimes I wonder if like, if we didn't have lockdown, or COVID, if we'd actually be together. It's true. You don't know. We don't actually know. No, I don't I know. I would probably say no. Yeah, I don't because know. Because we would be, I would be too busy to chat to you as much as I did. Yeah. It maybe. was every night. I was bored. I was like, oh, I do a FaceTime. I was like, I've got to go. I've got another call in line. <laughs> we used to, guys, we used to put on movies on Netflix and then watch it and then FaceTime each other after. Yeah, why were we doing that? I put I, way too much yeah, cheese on there, Hang on a minute. There's two people. <clears throat> if you don't like buffalo mozzarella, then we can't be friends because buffalo mozzarella is legit the best thing ever. You're not putting out. No, do that after when it's cooked. No, watch. <laughs> Come out, man. It's not going out. Unbelievable, buddy. All right, pizzas are done. Okay, so this is the final product. We have Kieran's here. Guys, rate it out of 10 in the comments. Whose is better, Kieran's or mine? So we're gonna put these in the oven at 180 degrees C for, I'm gonna say 20 minutes, but keep an eye on it. The oven that we have here at the moment is a conventional oven and to be honest, it's not great. Like I've really lost my love for baked oats, which is really sad. Like you guys know how much I love baked oats and they just do not taste the same over here. And I just, I can't figure out why because I've got the exact same ingredients, but. Don't understand that, do you? I don't, I don't get it. A couple more questions. No, one more thing I've got. Let me go back to the one no. more thing I like about you. So your ability to get over a disagreement. <laughs> it's so funny. Like we'll have a disagreement and then we'll just make a joke and it'd be like gone. Yeah, and that's, and that's really good. Yeah, but I just say that's like me, to be honest. Okay, next question. How long did it take you to fart in front of each other? I don't really fart, guys. I'm more of a burper. Oh my God. She burps <laughs> so much. Yeah, I actually- It's actually, I, I, mate, it's actually not great, I'll be honest. Yeah, yeah, I do burp And sometimes they come out, don't they, quite loud, and you're like, whoa. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's not I, don't, I don't really control. fart to be honest. I'm more of a burper. Yeah, I don't really fart. He literally farted on the first night. I, mean, I don't know why boys do that. They just spend they get fart. they get so no. the first time like we slept in the same bed. Do you reckon? Yeah. The Let thing is, out. the thing is, I'll tell you something, right? Because she's into fitness. And I'm into fitness. She understands the body has to do that. It does. No, he says he literally says it has to come out. What does I'm Shrek like, say? It doesn't have what to come Shrek out. Say? You can just hold it in. Like, what do you think us ladies do? What does Shrek say? Yeah, why do you got bloody stomach pains all the time? <laughs> I haven't got a stomach pain in sight. Yeah, because I'm breathing in all your shit particles. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, there are ways to do it. I should go out of the room. Yeah, he, he just sits there and like squeezes it out. It's disgusting. Listen, we don't need to talk about my flatulence on here, do we? That's uh, enough fancy. about fine. Okay, the last question is, do you know each other's phone passwords? I know yours. You see, I don't know yours. You do? But I don't, no, I don't, I don't, honestly don't. Can like, tell you? If someone tells me their phone password, it literally goes in one ear and out the other because I would never ever pick up your phone and go on it without you, without you if, being like. If you went on my phone, right, I would call it a day. Yeah, I just. Because you don't trust me. It's like someone's private space. I don't know, I just yeah, think like, I wouldn't, like you speak to your girlfriends about probably our relationship and whatever. You should allow, you should have that time. Yeah. You can slag me off or whatever you all you like. You won't because I'm, there's nothing wrong with me, is there? <laughs> <laughs> but I, I just think like, if you're going through my phone trying to find something and don't find something, you'll feel like an absolute fool. Yeah, I, I would never go through his phone, you know? to be honest. You could know my password. There's no point in going on it. And I don't retain the passwords. Oh my goodness. Karen actually looks really good. So our pizzas are done. Guys, I'm actually impressed with Kieran's. I think the thinner, crispier base may have been the winner. It does kind of like a doughy pizza. I don't think you're cooked. I'll just fold mine in half. Okay. <laughs> if you do that, I do do that sometimes. No, I'm not. But do you want knife? I don't know why I do that, because it doesn't you... help. Okay, we're gonna taste test it together. Don't go stuffing it into your face. Three, two. 
Ah, oh, it's hot. <laughs> it's one. hot, babe. Wait. <laughs> ah. Oh, really hot. Mm. I'm impressed with the dough. It makes me wonder why people need to have pizzas oh, from elsewhere. Yeah. Obviously, we'll do, we'll do that every now and again, won't we? Hungover, yeah. Sunday afternoon, you want a Domino's. But midweek, you could make these three times a week if you wanted to. Yeah, I'll put the ingredients and the macros below. I'll calculate it after just so you guys have got it. But anyways, let's get on to a couple more questions and then we will end it there. Is it annoying having a gym obsessed boyfriend? No, because I'm into the gym as well, but yeah, he is a little bit obsessed. I will be honest, over the last eight months, I have become even more obsessed than I. Mm. And it's not it's not a bad obsession, obviously. Like I'm I'm training for something quite in particular now. Like I'm literally obviously my first show was last year and whatever, but it's not like I, I go to you know, like three times a day, is it? I just want to be in there for at least two hours. Or an hour no, and two hours is way too long. Because I also gym as well, like I do get it, but yeah, he is a little bit obsessed. How long did you wait to have sex? Well, Two hours after the meal. <laughs> Halloween, we started talking. Then we went on our first date in March and on that first date. But we knew each other, so I think it's a bit different. I would never do that normally. It wasn't it one night? Well, it wasn't like I just met you that night. No. I've never, ever, ever had a one night stand in my life. With someone I don't know. Last one. <laughs> What's it like sleeping with someone who has muscles? She's a unit. <laughs> <laughs> is it different when I'm skinny? When I was shredded? No. Huh? I don't even know it's the difference. Like, it's just like everyone has different preferences, don't know. Different like tastes and people, bodies, looks, but that's like the good thing because obviously everyone's different and there's always going to be someone for someone else. Anyways, we're going to continue to eat We're going to continue to eat our pieces. And then watch Kardashians. Since moving to Dubai, I haven't been able to watch the Kardashians, but I think I might have cracked it now with the VPN. I actually can't we'll watch wait it. and see if it works. Yeah, Kieran was like, You're not watching that. And then I put it on, and he literally like couldn't take his eyes off the screen. Well, I wouldn't do that. I just kind of like it because, again, no matter how much you moan about the Kardashians, they're very successful people. Mm. I know they might, you know, they've all grown into it, or some of them have. They've just got like such different lives to like basically all of us. So it's, it's just crazy, like the lives they live. I'm just so fascinated by it. If you hate on them, you're obviously just like. Tell us what they have got, right? No, I don't feel like, no. I just like watching because it's just so different. Mm. The life is cool now. Yeah, it's cool. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to rate our pizzas out of 10. Right, thanks for coming on. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm here all week. See you, the next <laughs> See you at the same time next week, guys. Bye. Bye.